Nobody has the combination of experience, both within City Hall and now on Council, um, long enough to understand what's not working, but not so long that I've been the author of all the problems. The riding of Beaches East York has a hardcore NDP activist sort of contingent. Uh, I don't think that they like that I'm there, uh, but the balance of folks appreciate my commitment to actually you know, delivering real action in the community. So my commitment is tax at the rate of inflation or below. I think at the moment the idea of 0% tax increase is fantasy land and I think we're all smart enough and have looked at the City Hall budget to understand that. But also, you know, the alternative and Olivia Chow's 20% tax increase, people cannot afford that. While I can't control the Bank of Canada and their interest rate hikes, I can control property taxes. And the, the short answer is we need to get more juice from the squeeze. I will stand up mayor's mandate letters, public transparent documents that outline the priorities and the deliverables and the responsibilities of every division head at the City of Toronto and our agencies. And, you know, as a strong mayor of action and leaning into Bill 3, if, uh, you know, if you're not meeting those targets, if you're not delivering for Torontonians with the same urgency that I have, we will find somebody who will. I saw an article in the paper a couple weeks ago that said, if you're planning on going downtown, don't drive. This sort of moral superiority attitude of like, oh, I don't drive a car. Well, that's nice that you live downtown or you're close to transit and you have all this access to opportunity. Like a lot of people don't. So, you know, let's focus on mobility for all Torontonians across all 640 square kilometers and let's end the divisive rhetoric, rhetoric of like war on the car. There was nothing I heard more about than the chaos on Lakeshore and the Gardner. Mm -hmm. So go down there. Let's take that as a case study. You have the City of Toronto doing the reconstruction of the Gardner and Lakeshore. You have the province doing the Ontario line. And you have the federal government doing the flood protection at the uh, Don River. Mm -hmm. And you ask yourself, man, this is chaos. Who's in charge? And the answer is nobody. Literally no one is in charge of that. But when it comes to road occupancy permits, when it comes to closures, when it comes to construction and infrastructure projects, it must be done in a coordinated fashion. I'm gonna put somebody in that position within 100 days, charge them with a mandate to deliver and improve the flow of traffic, uh, and they will be held to count to do that. We need to build supportive housing. Like, we can't warehouse people in our shelters. Our shelters are perpetually full, 99.9% .9 all the time. I don't think you've seen anyone's message resonate. I don't think Olivia Chow's message is resonating because she doesn't have one. Like, I sit on the debate stage with her yesterday, and my head's kind of spinning listening to the nonsense when it comes to housing policy, when it comes to we need to build more bureaucracy and, and stand up the largest development corporation in the entire country, and it's going to be the city of Toronto. Plans. Yeah, and I'm, I'm looking in the audience, and I'm watching everyone's head nodding. I'm like, are you listening to what she's saying? No. Uh, and the answer is no. And so it's not my message isn't resonating, it's that nobody's listening to anybody.